welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. Let's go over Zilliga, what has been happening, how we're going to get there, and overall, just, you know, with the whole um, Ethereum bridge, uh, you know, like, w what's been going on over with, um, with the world of Zilliga? Because it is very, very, very exciting what has happened over the last uh, couple of weeks. And now that the, the London fork on Ethereum is done, we're only a matter of time now until the Ethereum bridge um, comes to fruition. And then we, it's going to be very, very exciting. It's going to get exciting very quickly. So jump on Zilliga.com, learn everything there is to know about the company, um, about the blockchain that it's built, about why it's so good. It's and, you know, they call it the Ethereum killer for a reason. But you got to do your homework on it, right? I mean, for those of you that have been watching the channel, you know all this. I know that I start off with this, but it's important because you might be brand new to Zilliga, never heard of it before. So jump on and learn as much as you can on there. Now, I like what the Zilliga Oracle has said here. You know, if we can break above 12.5 cents, then we've re-entered its 18-month channel. It's going to get explosive with a target of $1.50 end of year in this scenario. I like that. Yes, I mean, it is where we're heading. Um, I was going to say more $1.10, $1.15 by the end of the year, but I think nobody on this channel right now would complain if we got to $1.50 from where we are right now. But I, I, I do agree with these statements. Now, part of doing your homework on Zilliga is also understanding what projects are on Zilliga. And one of the most exciting ones is XCAD. So XCAD network uh, powered by Zilliga. Make sure to check it out, right? So follow, alarm bell, keep up to date with what's going on, what's happening and how it's performing at the moment because XCAD is a major uh, project built on the um, Zilliga network. So you get to understand the ecosystem and follow that. The other one to follow is Zilla Capital which is, you know, again, alarm bell, everything on, um, which is the capital firm that specializes in bringing up new startups using the Zilliga blockchain. So new concepts, new ideas built on the Zilliga network, um, but the Zilliga capital actually in, invests in the company. So again, you gotta understand these things, right? You gotta be on top of it and know what is going on and what is happening on there. And then of course, you know, you gotta follow the actual company itself, you know, with 310,000 followers on it. Um, it would be very, very good, you know, to keep up to date with what they post because they are very, very active on what it is and how it works. So it's really, really cool. Now, Zilliga actively enriched its economy of DeFi offerings in the second quarter. 4.99 billion Zilliga staked, 5.8 billion Zils locked into DeFi, on-chain volume of 42.7 billion. Zil swap liquidity nears almost 800 million and social media takeoff. And it really has. I mean, uh, the social media... Uh, numbers of Zilliga are very, very impressive, but you can read all that in, in its article as well about the Zilliga ecosystem growth and where it's gone and how it's performing and everything about it, right? So it's really, really cool document, 20 pages as a document, and there's a lot, a lot of information in here. Like we could literally um, probably make a video just on this document um, about the ecosystem and how much it's grown. If you do want me to make one, let me know in the comments, I'd be happy to. But it's um, really, really detailed, um, you know, how much it goes on here, um, how, many, how much detail, and there's a lot to unpack on this, but the growth that it's had, you know, we're talking about number of video views, you know, 114% up, um, number of new subscribers, 64% up, um, you know, from Q1 to Q, uh, Q2. So these are big numbers, right? So from 190 end of Q1 to 306,000, that's 61.3% up on Twitter alone. They, they are big numbers, big numbers. And social media is very, very important. Um, and the, their branding is spectacular. Like the branding looks so good, so, so good. So um, very, very exciting. Lots and lots of information on here. Like I said, I don't wanna go through just you know slides for the whole document, but. There is a lot to unpack and a lot, a lot of things to discuss about this document. If you want me to make a video about it, let me know and I'll, um, I'll, I'll get that done. Now, now, I'm pretty sure the community would love this. Let's make an on-chain invoicing a reality. So let's see, uh, right? So there are talks about um, Zilliga being used to make on-chain invoicing a reality. So we'll keep an eye out on that and what kind of cool projects come out of that. And then I love this, right? Everything happened slowly, testing out the new Chrome extension today, which will support the Zilliga Zil swap functionality. 
Um, so very lots and lots of progress being made on that, which is of course really really important, you know, from a um, from a Zilliger perspective. So we're not far away from seeing that go live, which is uh, I can't wait. Now let's have a look in, um, at at and Let's have a look at some of the indicators. Now we kick off with a four hour chart. So from a four hour chart perspective, we're sitting at nine cents at the moment, one point three nine percent down for the day. Majority are in that sort of range, you know, two three percent down for the day. Uh, but on the four hour, we're sitting on the MACD, which is uh, bearish. RSI sort of towards the middle and in pr pretty much halfway in the Bollinger Band. So not too much to report on there about how it's performing. But when we look at the hourly, the hourly has really started to kick off and it started from about 8461 8, and we're already up to nine. So we've got a nice momentum shift here. MACD is back in the bullish. RSI was almost in the uh, oversold and now it's kicked off again. So we do expect volume to, to be coming back. As I mentioned, you know, it was only going to be a small dip and then we're going to go right back into business. 12 hours still bullish. And from a daily perspective, very, very bullish. Um, all the signals, all the indicators. Um, so it's really, really, really exciting uh, from, from that point of view to, to look at these indicators. And as I suspected, you know, that Monday, Sunday night, Monday um, uh, perspective, it's uh um it's it's I, I thought i knew this was going to happen and i think you know over the next 24 to 36 hours we're really going to start to see momentum shift again and really really kick off and ramp up so very 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 cool let's have a look at some drawings of what can we expect from the upcoming future so when we look at uh, the the charts and we look at you know what, what, where we've come from and you know all the consolidation that we've had for for quite some time you know, it's really exciting to see that we've broken out of this, right? So a while back, you know, I was showing you these and we're out of here, right? So we are now set on the path towards what a lot of people are predicting, you know, into 2022, into threes and fives. I mean, right now I'm focused on, let's get to $1.10. I think that's, you know, very, very realistic. And then from there, we, we will judge. But there are people talking about end of 2023 having $7 Zilliger. So... It depends which side of the fence you sit on, right? For me, my job, and I only tell you what I believe myself, I'm not going to tell you something that I don't believe. I think we'll get to a dollar ten in the financial year. From there, uh, sorry, end of year, but then from there, let's see where we go, right? I don't want to talk too much into the future, but on a daily day, you know, obviously on a weekly basis, I'll be keeping you up to date. But a dollar ten, I think is great. I think, you know, $2.50 will probably be in 2022, and then like a $6.80, I see that more as like a 2023 perspective if you're able to hold until then but of course you know please do your own research make sure that you know you know exactly what you want and how you're going to get there uh, but there's no reason why this ecosystem cannot grow and get really 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 good and become something very 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 big so it, it is truly exciting uh, to see it kick off so from here i think we're going to have a continuation to move towards uh, uh 30 cents territory and then from 30 cents territory we'll, we'll, we'll judge you know what the pressure is and what, what are the critical points but 30 cents is the next stop so let's keep an eye out let's keep uh, i'll keep you updated daily um on what's going on what is happening and uh, at least you know i try at least two three times a week you know to t t tell you guys about Zilliger. it's that good it's so exciting let me know again if you want me to um, cover off that document in more detail but apart from that if you learned something new today don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as always thank you and i look forward to see you on the next one